what's the, the top uh, kind of cohort of money-making developers and, and how much uh, of revenue are they contributing? Hey, yeah, so thanks for having us on the show from the whole community. We have over 750 of what are arguably the most creative and talented game creators gathered here and in the metaverse together. We, the, the economy of Roblox is moving to over half a billion a year. Our top creators on the platform are making north of $50 million a year. And with the introduction of some expansions of our economy, even developers developing the number 1,000th most popular experience are getting to the point where they can make a living on our platform. So how much of your strategy is about opening up uh, opportunities for the small and medium creators uh, versus also just building the popularity of those large ones? In small and medium, how do you do that? What, what are the types of engagements and game mechanics that are going to help uh, not only better their prospects but enhance the gameplay? Yeah, we've introduced a thing that we call premium payouts or engagement-based payouts. And what it means is for those early developers who are in creative mode, maybe experimenting with Roblox and just making something fun, they're starting to see earnings show up out of the blue for the time that people spend in their creations. The result of this is an incredibly long pipeline, a very deep pipeline of up and coming creators on the platform. It makes a very powerful community of future game creators who might be forming studios. Dave, very interesting things here. And I see the appeal of Roblox really with a younger generation of players, including my own kids. And I'm wondering, as you roll out the age verification, tell us how important you think that is as we see Facebook and Instagram scrutinize it for their impact on, on teens as well as kids, and also China cracked down on how much time people are allowed to play video games. I should say kids are allowed to play video games in China. How much of a risk is all of that for your business? Yeah, we, we have a very optimistic view of building a civilized society on our platform, and, and our roots for the last 15 years have been putting safety and civility as the, as the primary thing we focus on. So as People on Roblox get older, we're looking at ways of maintaining that civility while allowing them to do things like voice chat. So you can see things like 13 plus age verification as a safe and civil way to make that possible. We're introducing experience guidelines at our conference today so that some experiences that are only suitable for 13 and up will be available on the platform. But really safety and civility has been our number one priority since we started. Yeah, and it seems like the age verification will be a key part of that. Um, as we talk about the metaverse, and I, I think it's really important to say that Roblox is not just a game company, right? It's a, it's a creative company. It's a place where people go to interact uh, and have those social, social interactions. But it also seems increasingly it's a place where people are going to go to consume entertainment. Where do you see Roblox going in the future beyond just the immediate gameplay? Yeah, it's really exciting because when people come together on Roblox, they do things together. They go to a birthday party. They, of course, play together. They maybe graduate from high school together if they couldn't in the midst of COVID. And when it comes to entertainment, there's something very special about going to a concert with friends and um, dancing together, deciding where you're going to stand, interacting with the crowd. It's something that you can pick up in an immersive 3D space. So we're super optimistic about some of the concerts we've done with Little Nas X or 21 Pilots, where um, millions of people have literally come to these concerts. And we're optimistic for artists that this is the third way that they can uh, essentially participate in the economy. So we think it's really big and exciting.